Hello, uh, just looking at a Blaumput or Blangpun, depending on which side of the European river you are. Um, this was a very common TV about oh, 10 years ago, made by UMC, so it could be a bush, it could be, uh, it could be several things. I thought this had come in for backlights, but as you can tell, I'm pressing the button here and it's stuck in standby, which means it needs a new EEPROM. Let's stick one in. The EEPROM chip you can see, which I'm just putting some flux on to take it off, is just a basic SOP8 chip which holds the information. It's, it's not dissimilar to a BIOS chip uh, in a laptop. And um, if anybody on here repairs laptops, you know that BIOS is becoming quite the biggest problem um, currently with laptops. It's not such a massive problem with TVs. It is on certain models and it is on this model. Uh, so it really is just a case of uh, either reprogramming the chip. Uh, we've got plenty of chips in stock uh, from old. We haven't done one of these for about three or four years, but uh, occasionally they turn up. And it's great to see um, that, well, hopefully the backlights on this are still working. Otherwise, we're going to have two faults. But uh, I'm just going to lag this in solder. It's the best way to get it off rather than use a heat gun because the boards on here are a little bit on the delicate side and you don't want to bubble them up. Uh, so it's just lag it in solder, take it off and stick the um, new one on. Now that's a bit easier said than done. Normally you can do it within just a couple of seconds, but I've got a great big camera in the way, so I'm having to angle my soldering iron. But uh, we'll just put on a bit of music in the background and we'll just get it stuck on. And hopefully um, these work. I mean, I've had these um, SOP8 chips, these EEPROMs for ages. Um, so let's get rid of that, find a new one, stick it in. It's quick and easy enough to get the chip in. My apologies for some particular reason. I didn't film it. I think the reason is because I'm getting old. I'm just checking the continuity to make sure all eight uh, pins are making contact with whatever they're supposed to make contact with. And then we'll plug it in and see what this does. So hopefully now it's going to go from standby to blue and it does and also hopefully we're going to get some backlights if i remember we get a first time user screen as well so the tv thinks it hasn't been switched on before kind of thinks it's all brand new and it does their first time installation so it will need setting up again but we'll let the customer do that because customers like doing stuff like that uh, not an exciting fix but now you know